हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल बी सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन को प्लानर नॉन कॉन्करेंट फोर्सेस लेट मी स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट एग्जांपल आई एम मार्किंग द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन लेट अस रीड व्हाट इज गिवन इन दिस क्वेश्चन फाइव पैरल फोर्सेस टेन कॉमा ट्वेंटी थर्टी फिफ्टी एंड एटी किलोमीटर आर एक्टिंग ऑन अ बीम फुल स्टॉप Distances of forces are from 10 kilo newton force are 1 meter, comma 2 meter, 3 meter and 5 meter respectively. Full stop. Forces 20 kilo newton and 50 kilo newton are acting downwards and remaining forces are acting upwards. Full stop. Find the resultant in magnitude, comma direction and location with respect to 10 kilo newton force. Now this is the question given. in which we have five parallel forces and their distances are given with respect to 10 kilo newton force so we can say that in this problem the diagram is not provided but they had given us some hint with that we can draw the diagram so let me start with this problem we are solving question 1 i'll write the data first here we have five forces 10 20 30 50 and 80 kilo newton so we can write the forces f1 first is 10 kilo newton f2 is equal to 20 kilo newton given f3 third force is 30 kilo newton f4 is 50 kilo newton And F five is equal to eighty kilo newton. These five forces are given in the problem, and the distances are given with respect to ten kilo newton force. So what we will do in this problem, since all the distances are given with respect to ten kilo newton force, we will first denote ten kilo newton force. Now, some condition has been given in the problem. if we read the question here the hint is given that forces 20 kilo newton and 50 kilo newton are acting downwards and remaining forces are acting upwards the meaning is if 20 and 50 they are acting downward it means 10 30 and 80 they would be acting upward it means 10 kilo newton forces in the upward direction so i'll denote or i will draw 10 kilo newton force Ten kilo newton is in the upward direction. Then, distances of forces from ten kilo newton force are one meter. It means the first distance is one meter. That is the distance between ten and twenty. Ten kilo newton and twenty kilo newton is one meter. So first, I'll write the force. The distance is one meter. One meter. Now, it is mentioned that twenty kilo newton force is acting downward. Twenty kilo newton force is acting downwards. So here I will be marking twenty kilo newton force. This is my twenty kilo newton force. After this, the second distance which they have given it is two meter. Two meter from ten kilo newton. Two meter from ten kilo newton. here now the next force is 30 kilo newton and we know only 20 and 50 they are acting downwards remaining forces are upwards so 30 kilo newton would be upward after this the next distance is 3 meter from 10 kilo newton this distance is the force is 50 kilo newton acting downwards and the last distance which is given is 5 meter 
5 meter with respect to 10 kilo newton force so here i have already 3 meters so i have to write another 2 meter this force is 80 kilo newton and it will be acting upward because only 20 and 50 they are acting downwards so here are all the forces with their distances the question is find the resultant in magnitude comma direction and location with respect to 10 kN force i have to calculate resultant also its location which is x and this is with respect to 10 kN force so this much is the question now we will solve this problem i'll write the solution for this since as we can see here in the diagram we don't have any horizontal forces so i'll say that since there are no horizontal forces in the diagram therefore resultant capital R will be equal to sum of all vertical forces sum of all vertical forces so therefore for resultant i will write down it is equal to summation of fy where my convention will be upward forces to be taken as positive and downward forces to be taken as negative once i have written the condition now i can go on finding the result so i'll say that therefore capital r is equal to i have 10 kilo newton as my upward force so 10 is positive 20 kilo newton is downward so negative 30 kilo newton upward positive Fifty kilo newton downward, so negative. Eighty kilo newton is upward, so positive. If I calculate this, I will get my resultant, which I had already calculated. The answer comes out to be fifty kilo newton positive. If I add all these values, I will be getting my answer as fifty kilo newton, and it is positive. The meaning of positive is that resultant will be acting in the upward direction. So this is my first answer. Now, once we have calculated the resultant and we know that resultant will be acting in the system of forces anywhere but we know that the direction of resultant will be upward it will be upward and acting anywhere on the system but we don't know the location that is what is the location of resultant and in this question they had told you that we have to find the location with respect to 10 kilo newton force so i'll say that this 10 kilo newton force i will take it as my reference a so i have to locate the resultant with respect to a so as we know whenever we have to calculate the location of resultant with respect to a reference point there we should use Varignon's theorem of moments so i'll say after this applying Varignon's theorem of moments In Varignon's theorem of moments, I will write down the sum of summation of moments of all the forces about point A will be equal to the moment of resultant that is resultant value multiplied by its location. Here my convention will be 
all clockwise moments to be considered positive all anti clockwise moments to be considered negative so therefore i will say that i will be taking moments at point number a the first force is 20 kN and because of 20 kN if i take the moment it will be in the clockwise direction so it will be plus 20 into distance which is 1 so therefore 20 into 1 next if i take the moment of 30 kN it will be in anti clock direction that will be minus 30 into 2 minus 30 into 2 after this 50 kN force if i take the moment it will be in the clockwise direction so plus 50 into 3 and the last force which is left is 80 kN if i take the moment at point a it will be in anti clockwise direction so it will be minus 80 into the total distance 5 minus 80 into total distance 5 now that will be equal to the moment of resultant resultant is upward like 80 kN is upward 30 kN is upward and 10 so since 30 and 80 the moment produced by them is anti clockwise so the moment of resultant which is upward that will also be anti clockwise so here i can write it as minus because anti clockwise 50 into x and x is the value which we have to calculate one more interesting thing is that 10 kN force the moment produced by 10 kN will be zero because you don't have perpendicular distance between 10 kN force and point A. So we are not writing the moment of 10 kN force. So now I can easily get the value of resultant. I can find it as this will be 20 minus 60 plus 150 minus 400 is equal to minus 50 into x. If I calculate the left hand side with right hand side value, my answer of x comes out to be 5.8 meter. This is from 10 kN force. So here I will say that this is my second answer where I am getting the value of location of resultant as 5.8 meter from 10 kN force. So I can show it on the diagram. Here I already have 5 meter distance up to 80 from point A. I have to also add more 0 0.8 to locate the resultant. This red line, vertical line acting upward represents the resultant whose value is 50 kN that we have calculated. And next the location of resultant with respect to 10 kN force. That is x is equal to 5.8 meters. In short, we can say that we have calculated the resultant for this parallel force system and also located the resultant, which is located at 5.8 meters from point A and acting in the upward direction. So, R is equal to 50 kN is the magnitude of resultant. Upward direction gives you the direction of resultant. And x is equal to 5.8 meter from point A gives you the location of resultant. So with this, the problem gets completed. Let us solve second question. I am marking question number 2. Let's read this question. Six parallel forces of magnitudes 1000 Newton, 1500 Newton, 1800 Newton, 2000 Newton, 2400 Newton and 2700 Newton are acting at 1 meter, 3 meter, 5 meter, 7 meter and 8 meter from 1000 Newton force. Full stop. 
forces first third and fifth are acting upwards first third and fifth are acting upwards while others are acting downwards full stop find the resultant force analytically whatever methods we are using here they are all analytical methods so with the data given whatever is given in this question i will write the data first here in this question they had given us six forces first force is 1000 newton second one 1500 third is 1800 fourth force 2000 newton fifth 2400 newton and sixth 2700 newton out of these forces given they have mentioned that first third fifth they are acting upwards so i have marked 10000 newton this will be upward 1800 newton and 2400 so first force is upward third force is upward and fifth force is upward remaining all forces they would be acting downward then they had even provided the distances and distances are from 1000 newton force so first i will be marking 1000 newton force 1000 newton force as given in the question it will be acting upward so i'll mark 1000 newton first acting upward now the distances are given between 1000 newton and 1500 newton the distance is 1 meter Thousand newton is acting upward. Fifteen hundred newton is acting downward. Then eighteen hundred newton is upward, located at three meter from thousand newton. So it is at three meter from thousand newton. We know that one thousand newton and fifteen hundred newton, they are one meter apart. and the distance of 1800 newton is 3 meters from 1000 so the remaining this becomes 2 meter i hope you all are getting this 1800 newton is also acting upward then the next distance is the next distance is 5 meters 5 meters is the location of 2000 newton force so after 3 meter i will take another 2 meter and that is i have marked 1000 1500 1800 2000 newton this will be acting downward because it is mentioned in the question 5 meter distance have been covered now the distance between we have located up to 2000 newton distance between 2000 newton And twenty four hundred newton, that is seven meters. So already five meters are there. You can take another two meter, that will give you seven meters from thousand newton force. That becomes seven meter, and it is twenty four hundred newton acting upward. Now what is left? Twenty seven hundred newton. That is located at eight meter from thousand newton. So already seven meters distance we have. the next is this 1 meter and the total distance becomes 8 meter 2700 would be acting downward so here i have located the parallel force system as per the directions given in the question they had also told us the question to find the resultant force analytically to find the resultant force analytically whatever methods we are doing these are all analytical methods so here i have to calculate the resultant i will be finding the resultant its magnitude its direction and location solution 
since again in this figure we don't have any horizontal forces i will write that since no horizontal forces no horizontal forces are present in the given force system 